my God. How cool was that? Yeah. And we're now joined by Melissa Eng, who actually designed that costume you just saw a little bit of. Uh, okay, let's just get into it. Right. How cool is this? We have a couple of the pieces. How long did you work on making this? This, uh, actually, I had a pretty tight um, amount of time. It, oh, the, I, I, I think I only had about two weeks actually to do the building. Two weeks? Yeah. Wow. That um, feels short. Yeah, because I had to fit in between some other work. Um, so sure. it had to, I, I, I'd say it was possible because of <laughs> some really helpful 3D printing. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be, you know, dying. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of 3D printing, you're wearing some pretty incredible armor yourself. Uh, Thank you. You designed this whole thing? Yes, so this is completely original design. That is How very many cool. layers are in there? Because it seems, just like looking at it, it looks like, like three or four layers. Can you guess how heavy this is? 800 pounds. You are very strong. So close. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. So yeah. That's better. That's my <laughs> jeans weigh eight pounds. <laughs> I beat it. Eight pounds. So this is this is actually not that many layers. This is just a breastplate, a back plate, the fold, you know, and then everything else comes together and it's fully articulated. So so what brought you to 3D printing? I mean, a lot was it did you start from a place of cosplay? Did you start from a place of 3D printing and it came together that way? Well, cosplay, I, I've never really done cosplay. Oh, really? I stumbled into 3D printing completely uh, out of the blue uh, a few years ago um, by chance. And it was really my, my, my last chance to try to be an artist. And I wanted to test myself to see whether or not I could make something uh, amazing that could inspire others and make other people happy and make myself happy. That's and awesome. it was kind of like a three month test <laughs> to see if whether or not I could do it. And I had no experience in 3D modeling or 3D printing. And I tortured myself because I believed there might be something possible and I'm still doing it. So I guess I'm okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess yeah. I'm okay. You're, I think you're doing a lot better than okay. Okay. <laughs> so how many, like, so how many pieces is the helmet here? The helmet itself, uh, it's a few different 3D printed pieces. Uh, there's this main helmet piece. Uh, there's this mask, this jaw was separate, this comb was separate, and these detail parts here. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. The lights are not all lit here. The lights aren't all turned on, and these are these just also glow. These also light up. Um, but that these are so also cool. separate pieces, and these are separate pieces. Here, maybe we can turn it just this way. So you can yeah. see the So you guys the can detail. get a good look at the detail. But on the fin there, that is so cool. So this one, you can imagine, is a lot more pieces. Right. How many, yeah, how many pieces is this? How many pieces can you count um, on camera? A lot. Yeah. So you can think every yeah. single piece was an every individual. Joint, right. And this is impact resistant. So, except, you know, not the paint finish. But it's fully articulated. So it, it was so constructed cool. with uh, armor construction in mind. It wasn't just glued. It's, it's, it's put in there so it's, it's sturdy. Yeah, if, it does feel very sturdy. And then I believe... How do I turn on? <gasps> it lights up. That is so cool. I love that. That is just really yeah. cool. And with time constraints and, you know, being able to 3D print it, put it together, mm -hmm. and still hopefully make something that's convincingly armor, mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was a fun time. Oh, go ahead. What, uh, this obvious, I, I don't know anything about 3D printing. What, do you, is this paint on here, or is this actually what was printed like the material itself that it was printed? Uh, this is fully 3D printed. A lot of these were, for example, parts of this was printed, a master copy, but because of some materials I did not didn't have, again, time, um, this one had to be recast in something more semi-rigid. This is an original print, as is this and this. So I'd say majority is a, a full 3D print here, especially these detailed parts, which would have taken a long time to get a symmetrical hand sculpt, for example. But being able to print it in such a high resolution after a few hours, really was a lifesaver. And then what is the paint? The paint, mm -hmm. it is a pearlescent uh, leather paint. Pearlescent? Yes, Ooh. it's flexible, doesn't crack. So it's, it's a, I think it should be a, a cosplayer's best friend. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Especially if you've worn body paint before, you know that. <laughs> I would not know, but yeah. I imagine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when you are creating something that's 3D printed, do you need to know a ton about engineering? Do you have to really engineer the whole sort of costume? Engineering, 
Uh, again, like honestly, I went into 3D printing with zero experience. I did not have that background at all. So when I started designing costumes, it was, for me, what was most important was understanding the actual uh, work and research behind real armor design. Cool. So for example, this that you see here is, you know, I have worked with an armor consultant and uh, a real uh, medieval armor consultant. And, and because if you think about why we love medieval armor, it's because it makes sense. It's convincing because it works. Why is it that right. when we see this armor in movies and film, it's so um, mind blowing to us because it's, it's believable. Um, so I think it really comes back down to understanding the research of understanding how it really works. And that's how we can more easily make uh, amazing costumes. I mean, that's, that's just what I believe. Yeah. So it, are you doing this, like, are you getting commissions from people, or are you starting to get out there? Yeah. Have you had any other Marvel requests so far? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I don't know. We'll you have to wait see, and see. We'll see. Uh, is there a particular armor in the Marvel world or, or about that you would just love to sort of sink your teeth into artistically? To, to play around with and everything? Mm -hmm. I'd have to say I would love to take a shot at something like Thor's armor in the new Ragnarok yeah. trailer. Oh, yeah, that would definitely I mean, be really it's already cool. amazing and beautiful, and I would never want to butcher it or anything, but if I could, that, that would be the one. I feel like we have to do uh, a commission for you to make a Strife armor for me. Strife oh, is yes. the, ver like the evil cable, yeah. and his armor is like spikes, and his like helmet big comes helmet. up like this. It's really cool, it's weird, it's very 90s. It's very <laughs> I would 90s. wear that every day on my way to, to school. To work. Yep. <laughs> Be like the and happiest the boy. Offices. Yep. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Um, I'm like, what armor would I yeah, want? Yeah, that's a good question. See, the first thing I think of is like that Dark Phoenix armor from yeah. the, the big black... Avengers versus X-Men? Um, no, it was from a game. It, I think it was from one of our past games that, that uh, uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance. Mm. Uh, that she has like huge big shoulder pads oh. and pieces and it's a very black colored Phoenix. Yeah, there would be a really cool one. Have you ever... I, I guess you have done cloth, mm -hmm. but there's so Mr. Sinister has this really cool cape that comes oh, up yeah. With the and big then runs wow. down, and it's like it's it's like starts as this hard plastic, but that mm -hmm. ends as cloth almost, and it flows behind him, but it stays rigid up here. That's a challenge. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That would be that would be crazy fun. Yeah. So what what was your background and like what got you so excited about the sort of prospect of three D printing? My background, mm -hmm. my background was in, in media and public relations. Oh, cool. So, <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say accountant. Yeah. Sure. And then I was like, you know what would be dope? Armors. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, one day I was kind of like, I really love masks and armor. And um, that's, that's awesome. But I, I was never really allowed to pursue art most of my life, which only wants you to go for it more. Sure. Right? Oh, totally, yeah. Um, and that's something I just simply couldn't ignore. And uh, 3D printing was... Honestly, the only thing I didn't try over mm -hmm. all the years of my life, yeah. I tried all the different mediums, 3D printing was that one. You are basically Riri Williams, because think about it, she's just like, I'm going to make some Iron Man armor, and then she does, and that's exactly what you did. That's like so amazingly, strangely full circle. Yeah. Are you local? Are you in New York City? I'm in New York, uh, in Queens. Have you been to the Met? The, yes. Uh, the Met has great Of course. Armor, so I, oh, yeah. I imagine I it's a great place I think you must. <laughs> it absolutely must. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It's one of the, my favorite places. Yeah. Just walking around that area. Yeah. Super cool. It's amazing. Amazing design. It's just, it's breathtaking. Yeah. yeah. Well, where can fans find you online? You can find me uh, at Bloom Cluster. So it's at L-U-M-E-C-L-U-S-T-E-R. Very cool. And do you take commissions? I do, but it will, <laughs> it will depend. It so will depend. So you're choosy? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> depends on time. It depends sure. on time. And Definitely. it depends on the type of project. Because a lot of people, you know, uh, they want a lot of crazy things. And I love that. But there's also what we can do in the possible realm. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for joining us thank here. You. Thank you so much.